Today I wanted to share with you my new bathroom. I want to show you the transformation that I have done and also show you some of the little bits that I have bought to make it just a happy place to bathe. So let's go back in time. So when I moved in here this was a shower room and it was divided by a shower space and a airing cupboard, immersion heater which had a door that was accessed through the spare room. Now I really wanted a bathtub because I'm a bath kind of gal. The immersion heater moved slash new boiler put in, new pipework put in, the door boarding up and this space made available for the new bathtub. There's a lot of work required for me to have a bath but it's my home. I wanted a bathtub, so I made it happen. Then I obviously got, I got the bathroom redone, tiled. I went for a bit of like a Victorian sort of thing going on. Um, all the walls tiled, the floor tiled, and I went for a navy blue, you know, nautical bathroom. But fast forward six or seven years, the bathroom starts to leak. So basically there was a big old crack in the grout. And every time I had a shower, it would leak down into the downstairs. Not a good, not a good look. I called a guy over. I was like, look, I've got this leak, I've got this problem. I need it re -grouting. And whilst you're there, could I actually have it all re black? Because I live in a hard water area, lime scale's a thing, and it just turns everything yellow. And just, just light colored stuff in bathrooms that's sort of like porous. Not cool, not cool. So um, so because I had loads of wall tiles, which he said to me, probably better off if you just take all the tiles off and start again. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna use this opportunity to give a little bit of a facelift. So, ordered new tiles. The floor tiles were fine, and because they're large, it wasn't gonna be a big job to regrout the floor. So anyway, he takes the tiles off the wall, and where it had been leaking, the wall had gone black, and it was wet and horrible, and it also been tiled onto plywood, which is apparently a no-no. You don't tile onto wood in a bathroom. So he had to fill in all the shit where it had been rotting and falling apart, and put on weddy board, which is uh, basically made for bathrooms. It's waterproof and it's made to be tiled on. It didn't cost me that much, more but you know as to be expected whenever you get work done something there's always a fucking bump in the road or something goes wrong you end up having to put your hands in your pockets okay I also used it as an opportunity to get a new shower screen because I hate the shower screen that I had because it was on a hinge and um, the water would always just like leak out of it the bottom bit where there was like um uh, that thing that stops it from leaking you know with the lime scale and everything no matter how much you cleaned it it would just always go manky and gross and it kind of started to roll it was just horrible not nice so I got a thick shower screen which is fluted glass and it's beautiful. It's got a new sink unit because I had a white sink unit and obviously in a wet space the laminate the laminate would affect and start to peel off from the bottom because it was fixed to the floor. Not a good look. It gave me the heebie-jeebies so I was like let's get a new sink, a wider sink and a dark grey almost black wood look and it's got legs so it's not really touching the floor so I can put stuff underneath it and then I also got a new unit. Decided to go pink. I was going to go forest green but then I saw this picture and I was inspired. I was like that is screams happiness at me. You've got the pink, you've got the orange, the mustard, the jewel tones. This looks fun. And so that put a spanner in the work. So I did a poll on Instagram and everybody voted for the green. But I was like, no, I really want the pink. So I knew, I knew then that I had to go with the pink because that's what my heart wanted. So I painted it, this wonderful, it's called Coral Pink by Dulux's Heritage Range. And I love it because it's not like pink, pink. It's an earthy, orangey pink and it just works so well. It makes me feel happy to be in this space. The black grout looks so much better than light colored grout and also on the floor where it got wet and like, you know, over time wear and tear it gone like yellow and stained in the white grout, which was awful, a nightmare to clean. So I was like, you know what, black grout, black grout's the way I got rid of all any woodwork, unnecessary work. Like I had a um, dado rail, I think it was a dado rail and I had wooden skirting. So it's all just easy to clean and feels clean and hygienic, which is what I want in a bathroom. Whilst I'm here, I thought I would show you how I've accessorized it and some of the stuff that I've bought. So I'm gonna start in the corner. So first of all, the mirror has been up for years. I kept the mirror because it is 
an industrial style mirror. Don't need to get rid of it, it fits that space of the wall perfectly. But moving across, we've got this gorgeous tiger bamboo print that I got from Oliver Bonas and it is beautiful in terms of colour, aesthetic, fits that space perfectly. It just works so well in this space. I love it. I wanted to have lots of plants in here. This is a devil's ivy. Got my little animal ornament in there which I think is Dunelm or The Range from years ago. I've got a devil's ivy in the corner which is on a, which I hope is going to go grow upwards and the other one's going to grow down. I've got a monstera cheese plant on the windowsill with a B&Q pot and then I also have a, a type of lily here which was a birthday present from my friend Danny apparently they love a bathroom so that's good isn't it I got this fantastic print from a shop called number 19 in Norwich and I love this print shop I go past it every single day I thought that the colors were perfect I love the style of art obviously it's a cheetah and a tiger I love animals incorporated into my artwork I just think it's cool it's just really cool and it gets that space perfectly and then on top of my unit I've got my glug jug which was in my kitchen I love it when you've got opposite ends of the colors color wheel near each other so like blues you know contrast nicely with like pinks and oranges again I've got my zebra jar that I got for Christmas from my boyfriend he knows me very well he knows my taste fill it with bath bombs when I get more bath bombs that was also in the kitchen but I thought it would work it would it, 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 it needs to live here it needs to live here it's perfect up here then I've got a collection of nice smelly stuff so I've got my candles, a neon, a wax lyrical, and then the nearest is the True Grace, rosemary and eucalyptus, which is the ultimate bathroom scent candle. It's so spa-like, and I always light it about 15 minutes before I come in and have a bath. It's just perfect. And then I have my White Company Reed Diffuser, which is also called Spa. It's very hit and miss with a Reed Diffuser, because is it gonna smell good? I don't know. But this one I can smell when I come through my front door, so that's saying something. That's amazing, amazing work. It smells beautiful. So that's my little, my little top there. I love it so much. Then moving over to this cabinet, which I got from, you're not gonna believe it, I wanted a metal fluted glass cabinet for my bathroom, right? I found one that I really loved. It was 900 fucking pounds, 900 quid. I found this one on Dun Elm for 250. <gasps> Bargain, and it is the perfect size, perfect height, and the perfect size to house all of my bathroom stuff. Which, if we go inside, we have got, the top shelf is for my flannels and face wipes, all the things to take to clean my face, basically. Then um, this half is basically my everyday go-to things, skincare, moisturizers. The other side is freed up for my boyfriend. There's not much going on there, but there is a big there is a big space for his huge wash bag that he carries everywhere. And then going down, we've got a little bit extra stuff, extra skincare, extra shampoo and conditioners, etc. Bath stuff, basket, and then on the bottom we've got all the towels and bath mats and things that are toweled, like hair wraps and stuff. So that's the perfect bathroom cupboard. I've got my little hook here, which I hang my towels up after I've had my shower. And then on the other side, I got this shower caddy from Amazon which is perfect for keeping the clutter out so it houses our go-to body washes and shampoo razors head scrubs etc and it's just easy accessible the sink lovely lovely sink underneath the sink top shelf is cleaning products and dental care bottom shelf sanitary towels and ta the, the period box the hair removal box and then my travel stuff box so all my miniatures for when I go on my adventures. The toilet roll holder is so cool. That is also from Dunelm. It reminds me of the labyrinth. We are helping. <laughs> we are helping hands. But I kind of wanted to get loads of hands to put all over the place. It looked kind of scary, but then I was like, I actually can't be able to drill that many holes. I got a new light fitting, which my dad came and fitted for me. That is also Dunelm. It's got a warmer light. The other one was like proper cold. <sighs> That's a slightly warmer 
and I might just keep that on. Next up, accessories. So basically everything's done out because their bathroom stuff is so good. This lovely soap dispenser in this bubbled ember glass and then this little tray that it sits on. This one which I thought was going to house the toothbrushes but clearly it's very small so we just have our dental flossing ends our water pick ends in there. Then in here is where I actually keep the toothbrushes. Just got mine in because my boyfriend's gone back to his. But we put our electric toothbrushes and toothpaste and all that good stuff in that one. This one actually did come with a lid and I envisioned it having like cotton wool balls and stuff in it. But actually in reality, I don't ever use a cotton wool ball. But that purchase was good actually because, you know, toothbrushes. The towels, oh my goodness. So my towel currently on the go is this amazing red and white giraffe print. Just love animal print stuff. Like the, their fur <laughs> or them. And then I also got the matching hand towel. This is from Dunelm. I've always wanted a tiger bath mat and I have one. I have this bath mat which is from Urban Outfitters. The colours just work so well with the whole colour scheme of the room. Just colourful, bright, fun, happy. And then I also got this one from Urban Outfitters which I love because it's got some of the colour scheme in it but then the blue is lovely and contrasting against the pink. It's just the palette. The palette is perfect perfect for this room and I really like a long bath mat so I like a bath mat for when I get out of the shower which which the tiger is responsible for and then when I'm brushing my teeth I just like it to go across the whole middle so I don't like to, I don't like standing on a cold wet tile and then the other towel that I got is this tiger print one from Dunelm and this is great because they are somewhat reversible got orange one side black on the other side so they're all the lovely lovely bits that I got oh and all of these little um all of these little storage boxes that I've got in here to house my stuff they're all from B&M I just got a stack of them and was like with well, these will be useful these will be very useful so that is my bathroom um I love coming in here it brings me so much joy coming in here and bath bathing I just turn everything off I just light some candles run a bath the bubbles are oh, just so nice it smells good in here it's just really really fun and and to be honest rejuvenating a space sometimes just means giving it a lick of paint putting a few new accessories in it and it does feel like a whole new space adding some plants and it'll feel like a whole new space i did that in my kitchen recently painted that orange reorganized it got some new accessories i've done that now in the bathroom albeit there are a few more additions but i feel like i've got a whole new bathroom for not as much as it would be for a whole for a whole refit. Um, I'm slowly but surely making my way through the house. I say slowly but surely. I'm all or nothing. I'm going to be doing the living room soon. I'm going to be redoing my hallway. Um, I just want the house to feel like a new space. Um, reborn. Because I was there was one point where I was considering moving and um, buying a new place because I just wanted to start again, if that makes any sense. Enough of me rambling. Um, if you like this video, give me a nice like and a comment. And don't forget to follow my home account, which is Welcome to Helen's. I will be uploading on there far more regularly now. Yeah. That's on Instagram, by the way. Thank you for watching. I shall see you soon.